welcome Cincinnati's finest musical ambassadors from the Old West Side, the Tillers. Everybody, that was Lexi. Give her a hand. You did good. That was one of our songs that we wrote. We're going to play a fiddle tune, a good old fiddle tune called Logan County Blues.
Thank you very much. Joe Maturette on the fiddle, Mike Oberst on the banjo. We might need to tune just a second right now. It tends to happen after we do those fiddle tunes. Ouch. Oh no, my battery. Here's another one we wrote. This is called The Road Never Ending. Oh, yeah. You can turn my uh, my banjo. Hello, check, check. You can turn my banjo uh, down a little bit in the monitor. Thank you very much. That was a song about being on the road and playing music with your friends. We've been at this band for about 10 years now, and uh, we're enjoying every minute of it. Now we're going to tune again. It's something we do a lot. Uh, 
So like I said, we've been a band for about 10 years. We've, uh, we've been working on a new record of original songs this, over the winter, and uh, we're gonna play you one of those brand new songs right now. Actually, I think we might do a couple new ones here in a row. No, but we got a couple more. This one's called Dear Mother. Thank you very much. All right, we'll do another song. This is off our last record, and uh, Mike wrote this song. It was inspired by a ghost story from Newport, Kentucky, which is right across the river from Cincinnati, where we're from. Uh, we used to play this place called the Southgate House, and, uh, and it, uh, it was supposedly haunted by a woman named Elizabeth. And uh, it's kind of like a local lore of the story of why Elizabeth haunts the old Southgate house. Uh, but uh, 
We'll, t- we'll let you listen to the story. You seem like you're all listening real good, so we'll let you listen to the story and the song. But I'll, I'll give you a little bit of, uh, of information, just in case you don't hear every little word, you know. Uh, so this, was, this took place in, what, the mid 1800s Civil War era, okay. And uh, so Elizabeth worked at the Southgate house as a, as a maid or something like that, and her, um, her love interest, we don't know if it was, if it was her husband or whatever, Bo, we'll call her her Bo, <laughs> call him her Bo. And uh, he worked on the river boats, and uh, she was expecting him back. Uh, and when the ship came in, there was an explosion. There was death. And, and I guess I'm telling you the whole story, aren't I? I'm pretty much telling you the whole story. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll keep going. And, uh, and she thought her, her man, we gave him the name Willie because he doesn't have a name. And as far as we know, anyway, um, and uh, so she thought Willie was on the on the boat, and she went to the uh, widow's peak of the of the big mansion that she worked at that overlooked the river, and she promptly hung herself. And uh, now you guys go. Ooh, ooh yeah. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, when we were in Scotland, we told the story. Everyone laughed. Ah, ha, ha. well, they, actually, they laughed after this part. When Willie comes, Willie didn't, he missed the boat. He came back the next day. Yeah, you guys are from Scotland? Okay. So, yeah, we thought it was sad, but everyone else thinks it's funny. So, uh, yeah, so the, the ghost of Willie, or <laughs> the ghost of Elizabeth haunts the Southgate house to this day. You'll see a woman in a white dress and supposedly that was, she was wearing a white dress when she took her own life. And uh, so this is, I basically told you the whole story, but listen to the song anyway. Because Mike does it much more poetically. I've noted, noted that uh, morbid sense of humor comparison now. Scotland, West Virginia, okay. <laughs> Hey, you can, you get, if anybody here knows anything about old uh, American ballads, you know, it's full of a lot of hangings, so, and, and horrible deaths, so we're just carrying on in that folk tradition. Here we go. This one's called Willie Deer. It's always one of us. Upon the shore and freight all loaded in Oh, Lizzie dear, you know that I must ship out with the crew and Though the river carries me, my heart remains with you Now Willie's ship departed from the docks early next day Elizabeth looked on as he floated far away From the house upon the hill she'd wait and watch true love safely home again well he toiled aboard the boat for months with hands so rough and raw she waited for a letter as the sun did rise and fall until one day she saw the smoke and heard the hissing steam the weary ship returning from the hall to New Orleans Then a loud explosion broke and trembled hills around. For I saw wide in horror as the tears come pouring down. About to stern, the ship did burn. She heard the sailors cry. Flame and fire of rapture lighting up the midnight sky. Then, with a trembling hand upon the pin, she wrote for me. This world can show no beauty. Side. The next day, a ship went rolling in, an 
been anchored in the way aboard was Willie Thompson on arrival one day late as fast as he could travel and through the door he broke and up the stairs he found his darling hanging from a rope this world alone but time stood still upon the hill where sat poor Lizzie's home and now so still and quiet there stands the open door with the dust upon the window pane and shadows on the floor it's empty stairs to bring her up to the widow's walk five windows four to view the rusty steamship dock with Lizzie's Thank you very much. All right, we're going to play another brand new one. That was a river, an Ohio River song, and this next one's going to be an Ohio River <laughs> song, too. Mike likes, likes to write a lot of songs about uh, our neck of the woods in Cincinnati, Ohio, living on the Ohio River. Um, and uh, Mike's first job, actually, was working on the Ohio River on a, on a barge at 14 years old. The, now, granted, the barge was turned into a restaurant. And he was washing dishes. But he did, in fact, work on a barge at the age of 14 years old. And, uh, and that, that restaurant was kind of a weird place. And, uh, and uh, it was called The Fore and Aft. And he uh, worked there for a couple years with his friend, Jason. And, uh, and they washed dishes and got into all kinds of mischief. And, uh, and that, eventually, The Fore and Aft sank into the Ohio River. And the EPA came after him and were like, you got to get this thing out of here. And uh, that was after Mike had quit working there. Um, but anyway, he wrote himself a song about his first job working on that barge at the wee age of 14 years old. It's called Riverboat Dishwashing Song. That's where I got all these tattoos when I was 14. Washing dishes. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, this is a new song, too. So, we're... yeah, this will be on the new, new album. Okay. Yep. Two, three, four. <laughs> Hear the whistle blow as I throw on my rags for the evening I'm too young for to legally employ So it's underneath the table I'll be working And this here's the kind of life I do enjoy In my bleach spot stained corduroy I'm just a riverboat dishwashing boy Riding my bike round and down the plank where I know that old dish tank is 
is waiting. She's a shiny new machine. She'll get your dishes clean with a fancy spray of thing with silver plate tin. Shining every dirty dish and pot and pan. And I've only got one solitary plan to be a riverboat dishwasher man. Cookie is the captain of Jimmy thinks he is as he growls and he barks from the kitchen. They send you down below for a bucket full of steam with a stowaway shore cats are hissing. And I'm wishing that they all could sing along. Pass around the black bottle till it's gone. And sing a riverboat dishwashing song. Sad part. Oh, it's bad. She was buried in the deep when she sprung a leak on a cold rainy day in the autumn. And the bow came to dip as we all abandoned ship and she sank to the muddy river bottom. Now the years are drifting on and on and on. And we're gonna end it here before too long. This was a riverboat dishwashing song. <laughs> There it is. Hey, thank you. That goes out to all you dishwashing people. fun. That was a fun song. The ending is usually cued in by Aaron's boot stomp, but we're, we got a thick carpet up here, so we we're like, where's it at? I can't think. Oh, well. We're going to do another new one. This one's called The Migrant's Lament. I wrote this song a few years ago. It'll also be on the next record. Hmm. Oh, we might tell them that we'll be in, in Pittsburgh sometime soon, oh, yeah. right? We'll be at the Club Cafe. Uh, we heard that's not too far, too far from here. Uh, what's April the date? 20th. April 20th with the Hackensaw Boys. We'll be at the uh, Club Cafe, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll see you next month, too. Didn't want to forget to tell you. I don't want to look up in the sky and see the dark clouds rising. I don't want to look in my darling's face and see your blue eyes crying. I don't mind to work all day out in the bright sunshine. I'm always looking for a job to do. Hopefully silver lining I'm working, I'm working Trying to jump in a bay I'm working, I'm working Gonna get on the road someday When I come round I was looking for work And I heard that folks was hiring So I took me a job on a similar line I've been conspiring I'll take my pay and put it away Though it ain't too much they give it I said I'm
out west I know I said I was coming home soon But I think it's for the best Something I'll get you out of that town Saving every dime, babe Then I'm gonna sing this song Write you another line, babe I'm working, I'm working Trying to draw a little pay I'm working, I'm working Gonna get on the road someday I'm working, I'm working Trying to draw a little pay I'm working, I'm working Gonna get on the road someday Here's another piece of Ohio River local history coming right at you. Anybody ever heard of Rabbit Hash, Kentucky? No. One. We got one. And I think he's just saying he's heard of it. He's like, Rabbit Hash. He's like, sure, yeah. Love rabbits. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you know. He knows. He's, yeah, all right. That was the secret password. The mayor's a dog. Or the dog's a mayor. Yeah, the mayor's a dog. Been so, been many different dog mares in Rabbit Hash, Kentucky. Um, it's just down the river ways uh, from Cincinnati on the, on the Kentucky side, obviously. Um, and there sits a little general store that was built back in 1836, I think. And, uh, and it's been a general store since it was built. And uh, as long as I've known about Rabbit Hash, Kentucky, they've had bands like us playing in the general store on Sunday afternoons with a potluck dinner and uh, and everyone would come gather from all around the area of Rabbit Hash. It's out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's like, it's a haul to get there. It's all winding, kind of like, you know, parts of West Virginia, kind of like it was to get here. Um, and, uh, and we love the drive and going out down those windy roads and through the Ohio River Valley. And, uh, and you get there and there's this little general store that sits right on the river. And uh, we've been playing music there for forever. It's one of our favorite places to play. And um, I will, I'll, it's another sad story, but it has a happy ending eventually. I'll, I'll get to it. Um, last February, just over a year ago, uh, one of the refrigerators in the general store had a wiring issue and it caught fire in the night and it burned almost all the way to the ground. I mean, it was hardly anything was salvaged except for the floor, basically. And since it's a historic building, and the floor was salvaged, they were able to rebuild the general store. And here we are a year later, and the general store is rebuilt to its exact specifications. It's amazing. I mean, it looks exactly like it used to. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it, it, you, you look at it, and it just looks like it got a fresh coat of paint. That's that, and they dusted, you know, that's all it looks like. Um, but the day, the day after that we heard the news of the general store burning down, the whole, whole entire tri-state community was just devastated. Anyone that had ever been there was affected by the place. It was just this wonderful step back in time. And, you know, living in Cincinnati in the, you know, the urban area, you know, it's nice to be able to just, just a few, you know, maybe 30, 40 minute drive down the road, you can kind of escape back into this um, simpler place, you know. And uh, so in the devastation of the general store burning down, Mike woke, woke up the next morning and he wrote this song here. It's called The Old General Store's Burning Down. And it's kind of a tribute to that that place.
were many a sad, heavy heart. As the snow swirled around through the dark, such a sad, wretched sight. In the old town tonight, all your neighbors and friends gather round, gather round for the old gym. the heart of a sycamore tree sang the song of the river so free she'd a memory long as a lone hair and song all your neighbors and friends gather round gather round for the old gym Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're going to do some twin fiddling. Uh, this is, mind. yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> I didn't think they would. Joe thought you might. Anyone opposed to twin fiddling? Please leave. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, this is a, a song um, called Tecumseh on the Battlefield. This song is one that I wrote uh, dedicated to Shawnee warrior named Tecumseh. Um, the Shawnee, there were a lot of Shawnee that lived down on the Ohio River Valley, uh, down on the southern part uh, in, near Cincinnati. So, um, so. Uh, I grew up in a little town with a statue of Tecumseh, and, and it took me a, too long to, uh, to, to be informed of who that was. And uh, so this song is for him, Tecumseh. <laughs> I did pretty good telling them that too, and now I gotta tune. That sounds good. It's pretty in tune. It's pretty in tune, Mike. It's in tune, buddy. I think you sound pretty good. I think the tuner's a little off. Just gotta trust it. Okay. That sounds pretty good. How do you guys? Okay, all right, resume. Well, we rest a 
Wisconsin, where we'll be your home. The pioneering army clear the land you used to roam. So come to get your eye for the comes to get your gun. Or on the field tomorrow morning, you'll meet with Harrison. Now who can sell the air and who can sell the sea? Who has the right to sell the land but here for you and me? It comes to get your eye for the comes to get your gun. Or on the field tomorrow morning, you'll meet with Harrison. Fight for freedom up in old prophet's town. It comes to get your eye for it comes to get your gun. For on the field and on on your feet with Harrison. Take comes so he was shot down upon the field and things. Round him lay the wounded and dying Shawnee brave. It comes to get your eye for it comes to get your gun. For on the field and on on your feet with Harrison. coming right at you we got i'm just like we like every song is about the Ohio River. we're not this one dimensional you wrote the set list. i did write i was like really before the set, set i was like this is the best set list i think i've ever written i know yeah we're close to it. okay so yeah you guys yeah actually a couple years ago we did a an, what we call the great ohio river tour anybody catch that we did stop in west virginia and we stopped in Pitts and we started in pittsburgh but anyway we we played uh we, for about uh, 10, 11 days, we, we just played. We started at, at Pittsburgh, the beginning of the Ohio River, and we just kind of worked our way down the river roads and playing in towns all, all along the Ohio River until we came to the confluence of the Ohio and Mississippi. It was a real fun tour. We got to see all the, got to see pretty much the whole river. So it was great. You guys should try it sometime. <laughs> we're going to do a song. Gonna, yeah. We're going to do it again, but so uh, we're looking for anybody that will take us on, on a boat. boat. <laughs> in a van's cool, but we always in vans, you know. Yeah, we like to try it on a boat. Um, speaking of boats, this next one is about uh, a boat, a handmade boat, a homemade boat, a shanty boat. That's what this song is called. This is inspired by a book by a man named Harlan Hubbard, who built himself a shanty boat in the 1940s. He and his wife, Anna, and they drifted down the Ohio River um, all the way to the Mississippi and all the way down to New Orleans. And uh, he wrote a book of his adventure and it inspired Mike to write this song. He's now turning this song into a children's book called My Shanty Boat and Me. For the kids. For the kids. Where's the kids at? <laughs> well, I can't see any of you right now, but if you're a kid, raise your hand. We love kids, man. We got two up. Well, I got one. Alright, here it goes. Shanty boat. Thank you. 
of the day. My back and my shoulders tired. I'll build me a boat and set the thing afloat and drift down the river side. Through locks and the bends, the river never ends. A poor boy singing my song. finish that sometime late this year so <clears throat> keep a lookout I apologize too I've been sick all week so if you hear any horrible horrible notes and coughing it's it's not my songbird friend Sean over here it's definitely me sorry <laughs> how many more is on the list, but we can, if we got to cut any out, you just let us know people in charge. <laughs> so, here's another. I'm going to play this loud old trash can here. I call it Steely Dan. This is a song called Mona. It's about uh, it's about love troubles, I guess. Love trains. And trains. <laughs> it's about trains. It's not about a love train. It's about a night night train.
Uh, when we get done here, we got like I said, we got a few more. When we get done here, we'll, we'll be uh, over at the merchandise, and we'd love to say hi to you and let you know what we're up to. And uh, we got CDs and T-shirts for sale, of course. And we're trying to make a new record, and uh, we sure could use some money. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, can't we all? lined up. You guys are probably excited. We're just getting started. We wish we could stick around all weekend. We got gigs back home. Kids back home. How much time we got? What's that? What? The weight? <laughs> oh, play the weight? Oh. I think we got two more. If, that's, if there's enough time for that, we'll do two more. And uh, we appreciate you listening to us. Dave, the David Mayfield Parade is up next, and that's going to be... Uh, have you ever seen David Mayfield? I think he's played here before, right? Heck of a show. Wonderful musician, wonderful performer. We're looking forward to seeing his set as well. This is one of ours. This is called 500 Miles. Hope you like it.
All right, so let's uh, sum it all up now. Uh, CDs. Uh, uh, kids' book. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> Ohio, River. Ohio River. Everybody, thanks so much once again. We love you guys. You've been a really great crowd. Thanks for being kind to us. And uh, this will be our last one. <clears throat> These are all songs we've written. If you like what you hear, we got CDs for sale out in the in the lobby. <laughs> Might be the one where my voice goes. <laughs> That's all right. Here we go. Here we go. I'll sing it for you if you need me to. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. David Mayfield's up next.